everyone, welcome to Bowser Training Decoder Solution. Um, if you want the best mock interview experience in North America, feel free to check us out at bowsertraining.org. We provide English service, of course, for mock interviews. And also, if you want to the, uh, receive some latest uh, in, uh, news re related to interviews, feel free to check, subscribe to our WeChat right here. And uh, this is only in Chinese. So you have you have to be able to read Chinese for this. Okay, so today we're going to talk about one very classic problem, which is the subsets. So essentially giving you a list of integers, this return all possible subsets. So that basically basically gives us the hint this is gonna be a DFS recursion solution because it's asking for every single combinations. So um, elements should be in non-descending order. So basically it's ascending order. So that means we have to sort the list first and also must not contain duplicate subsets because this thing should be fine. Um, before we talk about the very classic solution, we should, uh, there's another solution for subsets is for a subset size of n, so there will be basically two to the power of n subsets, for example, in this case, n equals three, so you can see there's actually eight of those. So one thing we could do is just to index each element, for example, uh, seven, that means one, 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 all the elements should be included. Zero, 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 none of this should be included. Five, one, zero, five, uh, one, zero, one, so one and three will be included, so that's one way. Okay, however, let's just use the most classic way to code this question up. Um, okay, sir. Okay. So every every solution is every step in the recursion tree is a solution. So um, don't forget to actually create a new array list, or else you will be just dealing with the same object over and over again. Want to do is for each of those, so it is a part of the solution, and then we keep a recursion. And after recursion, we want to remove element as it ends before the next recursion. So here. This should look correct. So for example, if you have an array of one, one, two, three. So first, they will, this will generate a uh, empty one. And then you add one in there. And then you add two in there. And then you add one, two, three in there. And then it should be one. So you pop three out. And then you pop two out. And then one, three is there. And then you pop one out. So two is there and two, three is there, and then you pop two out, and then three is there, so two, eight solutions. I think this looks correct. So, um, so yeah, this, so in this case, this should be just a uh, two to the, so exponential solution, because of this, there's how many, two to the power of n, 
So this will be an exponential solution, however, time limit exceeded. Okay, let's take a look. So in the recursion part, result at a new each solution step. Okay, and then i equals to index every time we pop the index 1. Oh, I guess one way is we have to sort the array first, of course. After sorting the array, okay, let's see. Okay. So every step you you pop this up. you add a number in there, you add a number, you keep adding this number until you cannot and then you pop this out. Oh what am I thinking? Okay, so the time complexities is is 2 to the power of n because there's this many so if you just think about this it's also kind of like a, when you have a 4 and then you keep recursion so this is also kind of normally a exponential type of indicator okay thanks a lot for watching